Well, what's going on guys? It is time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. Now I'm going to be showing you guys tutorials that I recommend for you guys to watch. So if you're a beginner, I feel this would be useful to you. And these are tutorials that uh, I feel in such and such order would help you get a better understanding on how to draw and what to draw. So the first tutorial I would recommend is a video from Proko called uh, Structure Basics, which is about using cylinders and cubes, just basic shapes to construct, to construct things, understanding uh, your construction of, or understanding your fundamentals, because understanding your fundamentals are important to drawing the human body. And after after you've uh, looked into Procro, I would recommend to look into uh, Mastering the Mannequin from Imagination by Alfonso Dan. So that's a highly helpful tutorial and it does cover the eight head figure proportion. And so if you didn't know, there are several different ways to measure the human body. And so there's the cranial, the, the cranial uh, unit and then there's the head unit. Uh, for me, I'm now I'm going into using both head unit and cranial unit for measurements because cranial unit goes into more detail, you know, and head unit is a lot more simpler. But for beginners, I feel head unit would be beneficial. So he does cover head unit slightly in Master and the Mannequin. And so I feel that if you're going to master the mannequin or just draw any pose from imagination uh eventually just just continuously just practice this for a good month you know like use this tutorial and then apply this to your own original characters or so but just make be sure that you're using elements from both of these tutorials whenever you're drawing and so and also there's also practice so you know just get a page it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to be drawing with uh, some kind of uh, you know creative purpose to invent an OC you could just draw for the purpose of, of practicing you know and so this can be something that's useful for that you know and and once you are used to mastering the matter you're used to this tutorial and the basic structure then I would move on to uh, the next segment which would be um, which would be uh, the understanding the human anatomy okay and so Alfonso Don does like a very shortened version of of mastering the human anatomy so I feel that uh, since he does a very short version is it's very easy to like uh, start to get a grasp of all the anatomical shapes however it doesn't go into the fine details such as Procro and so what I like about this is that although it is shortened it's very easy to get into for a first-timer person going into anatomy you know he, he's a great teacher he, he explains it well so I'd recommend to uh, look into Alfonso Don's a uh, YouTube tutorial on uh, a human anatomy part one and human anatomy part two and then eventually when you get used to practicing your human anatomy you can apply this to you know towards anything that you're drawing or so either practice or drawing uh, something that you enjoy such as your original character so just apply these these tips to what you're drawing you know and I feel that when you when you get used to understanding the human anatomy from this shortened from this from these shortened uh, a shortened view of understanding the human the human anatomy, then you later on, like much later, then you can start to dive deep into the nitty gritty, the details, so that it wouldn't be so overwhelming for you. And the details are mainly Pro Crow's videos because he goes into very fine details in his videos that I feel would be overwhelming to a beginner you know so I feel part of the reason why I avoided I avoided anatomy at uh, in the past was because it was it felt very overwhelming for me to learn it felt like a lot of information now this tutorial from Alfonso, Alfonso Don he 
is simplified it's more simplified for you to understand and once you get used to this simplified version of anatomy and, and such then you can start to go into the, the nitty-gritty details if you choose to you know and so now that that's done uh, another thing I'd like to also recommend is also understanding your human proportions like understanding the the differences between the cranial units and the head units now from the mannequin tutorial i i showed before the mannequin segment uh, in the basic shape segment that i showed before uh i have I've, I've shown you guys like okay i've shown you guys that and like in the mannequin segment that alfonso does uh, alfonso don does in his tutorial he talks about the the a head figure now pro crow he goes into more detail for the eight head figure and he also goes into more detail for the cranial unit when it comes to proportions so that if you know the eight head figure from alfonso dunn's tutorial of max and the mannequin you have a much more finer finer understanding when you watch pro crow because it goes into a lot more detail and it wouldn't be overwhelming to you because you have knowledge of proportions already you know you're just learning new new information you know and so i'd recommend to watch uh, after you've gotten used to basic shapes and mastering the mannequin from imagination uh look into again alfonso dunn's human anatomy and then look into pro crow's uh human proportions for cranial and head unit and then when when that's done you go to another tutorial for from pro crow called draw drawing gesture and now gesture is like the motion the fine motion it gives which gives life to the drawing you know it gives it, it animates it it, does, it stops your drawing from feeling so robotic you know and so when you watch this tutorial i'd recommend to practice from all the stuff that you've learned in in quick poses you know this site here which is a timed it shows you uh, different model photos and, and it's timed, etc. And you can just draw from observation to look into those. And so there's this there's this website called meetup.com, you know, where you can draw from observation in person, you know. And meetup.com is not only in, it's, it's, it's everywhere, you know. So I'm not sure how it is in, in different states or so. It may be less populated. But since I, where I live in New York, there's a lot of meetups going on. So there's there's meetups for everything. There's meetups for anime club or, you know, there's meetups for nature walks or hiking. You know, there, there are drawing meetups. So I'd recommend to look into, you know, meetup.com. And it's a great way to socialize and net, network and meet other people, you know. And yeah, that's that's the, uh, the second segment. Now, the third segment, when you... When you finally, when you finally get used to doing all this, and you spent a good three, you know, three or four months just, you know, refining it, you know, understanding what's going on, etc., and you're and you're practicing and you're, you're doing your thing and you're you're just used to it and you want to evolve even further, then I would recommend to look into the third segment, which is, you know. The third segment would be looking, looking to go back to Pro Crow's videos, and you know, look into all of his anatomy tutorials. Now, the reason why I didn't recommend to watch the uh, anatomy tutorials in the in the first session is because uh, you know I feel I just feel I, it, it will be overwhelming to people do just due to the fine amount of detail. However, you know, this isn't uh, you know this isn't a rule or a law you have to follow. You know, this is just something. I would I would personally do if I were you know if I were looking at my my older self i would give him the, these set of tutorials to watch first you know before diving into certain certain things so I would recommend to after you you're used to everything go back to pro crow and then look into the fine the fine details of what he's talking about because because anatomy is a, a lot more than than the uh, the simplified version of it you know so and that way when you understand how anatomy works you can you can better understand how to draw 
from um, draw accurately from imagination, you know, because you understand the functions, and and now now that that's out of the way, um, you can also do like side things, like uh, um, th this is a different tutorial from this is we're still in the third session, so this is a different tutorial from Mega Mikey. So if you're into anime or manga etc then you can look into how to map the face now now here's the difference the difference between cranial cranial units and and head proportions and so head proportions we measure the body using the reference of one head right for cranial cranial units we're measuring the bodies the body in proportion and in, in using uh in using just this sphere which is the cranial you know not this bottom portion here we're using the sphere which is the cranial okay so that's the difference between head and cranial and cranial i feel goes into a lot more detail when it comes to proportions you know but, but if you're starting out I'd, I'd say go go with head so the head proportions so yeah so and this is a, a side thing again so if you're interested in learning uh how to draw mapping the the <laughs> mapping the, the face for anime or manga or mapping or how to draw an old an older person how to draw uh how to draw a child you know all these are extra things that you can look into you know after you've learned all the all the other the uh all the other uh basics you know so yeah i'd recommend this you know and you can find your own tutorials and venture out you know this isn't a very uh this isn't a strict or law once so yeah and right here this is a background or a uh perspective perspective tutorial on backgrounds and so what i feel the reason why i do feel backgrounds are a lot more easier to learn compared to humans is because uh you you have a vanishing point available for you so me personally i don't do digital i don't do uh i don't draw my backgrounds digitally I use a uh, I just I do it traditionally because it's a lot more easier and I can I have more control over the perspective lines and I could also rotate the, the ruler in certain ways so that's why and so I just have my ruler pointed at the vanishing point so when you're drawing humans the vanishing point is something that, that you have to mainly imagine from your mind or also look too robotic if you're constantly trying to match a particular vanishing point you know with um with uh with a human you know if that makes sense but um yeah this is uh, another tutorial that i'd recommend and um it doesn't have to be you can you can use this you can watch this tutorial while you're looking at uh basic uh pro crows the first session i i i went into the uh uh, yeah, the basic structure from Procro. You can look into backgrounds while you're looking at the basic structure from Procro, because um, that's something that you can. It's easier to understand perspective because you have vanishing points there. Okay, you have a vanishing point to follow. You know, and when you're drawing again with humans, it's a, a, some like a, an imagination thing, but vanishing point is very visible. So it really helps you to train your perspective when you have a vanishing point there and so that's something i would recommend and also there are different types of perspectives there is there's one point perspective there's two point perspective there's three point perspective and then there's four and there's five four and five is something that's a, a bit more extreme it's more of a uh, it turns your buildings into a cur curvature it, like it, it curves the buildings a little bit more is i feel it's a vision that uh, animals or certain insects see so if you want to look into four point and five point perspective for your own for your own uh you know endeavors your artistic endeavors by all means you know do that extra go that extra mile you know so however for you know for just drawing backgrounds in general i feel it'll really help you with perspective it really train your eye with perspective and you can apply that to you know when you're drawing human when you're drawing humans because you can use your imagination you know and uh, imagine the vanishing point but i personally when i'm drawing backgrounds i i like to have a uh, a visible vanishing point that i can see so it can be correct 
And for humans, I like to just do that vanishing point from imagination. You know? Are you still here? So, just a little, uh, this, this, this a little note is that, uh, you're not, this isn't, this isn't a strict path for you to follow. You can break paths. You can learn, you can learn in any, or you desire, you know, this is your journey. This is your path. You know, everyone learns differently. So, you know, if you, if you don't really, you know, feel, feel, you're not really feeling this path that I, you know, laid forth, you know, just, you know, do your own thing, you know, we're free to do our, our own thing, we're all humans, everyone is different, so, yeah, just do your own thing, and, um, that would be the video, thank you guys for watching, if, if you enjoyed, you know, if you have any suggestions, actually, feel free to leave so in the comments down below, and also tell me what you think about this video, and, <clears throat> <coughs> Yeah, I need to get some water. Peace out.